Before you can interface with the ECUR using your smartphone, you must first download the app available from the App Store on the iOS platform or Google Play Store on the Android platform by searching for ECU app or AP systems, no spaces, and looking for the familiar AP systems icon and the letters ECU. This should not be confused with the EMA app, which system owners will later use to view their power production from their smartphone. Before opening the app, first connect to the ECUR's wireless signal using the following steps. Press the AP button located on the side of the ECU. This will enable connectivity to the unit using your smartphone. Again, this feature deactivates after one hour for security reasons. Open the Wi-Fi setting on your smartphone and select ECUR, etc. from the list of available wireless devices. You'll be prompted to enter a password, which is 8888888 or 88s, and then connect. Some phones may display an error message saying they're unable to connect to the internet through the Wi-Fi device. Just click OK. Once the connection is complete, open the ECU app. If your phone is connected to the ECU, a green light with the word connected will appear on the app home screen just below the system output power. If the screen doesn't show a connection, try touching the screen and pulling down on it, then release it to refresh the app. The app should show the ECU ID beginning with two. A gray light indicates the phone is not connected to the ECUR. If this is your first time configuring this ECU, you must first set the date and time before scanning inverter UID serial number codes. To do this, Go to Settings, which is located on the bottom right of the home screen. Touch the option for Date, Time, and then set both the date and the time so that they're current with your time zone. If a wired Ethernet connection is not available and the installer chooses to use the Wi-Fi function to connect the ECU to the Internet, touch the WLAN option under Settings and look for the homeowner or site's wireless signal broadcast enter the password and touch send. You may need to obtain this wireless password from the home or site owner. Please note, once this operation is complete, the ECUR may reboot. You may also need to reconnect to the ECUR after it reboots to complete the setup and commissioning process. You may need to press the AP button again to enable connectivity to your smartphone. Under the WLAN settings, you'll have the option of changing the hotspot password, which is the password you use to connect your phone to the ECU. You would enter the old password, which again is 8 8 and provide a new one that would be kept in your company records. The LAN or wired network setting has two options. The first is to automatically obtain an IP address. This is the default setting for the inverter. The second option is to choose a fixed IP address and user-specified settings. This option is only recommended for installation professionals who are familiar with these settings. If you're not familiar with changing these settings, be sure to toggle the option Obtain an IP address automatically. This information is also available in the ECUR installation manual that comes with your ECU or located in the resource library at apsystems.com. Depending on your region, you may also be able to select the grid profile of the country or region where the array is located or select specific grid requirements. Now that your date, time, and connection settings are complete, you can now add microinverter UID serial numbers to your ECU so that the ECU knows which inverters it will be receiving and transmitting data with. To do this, go to the settings and select the first option, ID management. The app will first sync with the ECUR to determine the UIDs that have already been entered into the ECU. Many installers choose to pre-configure their ECUs with site-specific inverter UIDs prior to leaving the job site in order to save time during the ECU setup. 
If the app automatically finds all the inverters present in the array, the ECU is fully loaded with all the necessary UIDs and no syncing is required. If all the inverter UIDs do not appear, you may have to scan or manually enter them before syncing with the ECU. To scan the UIDs, simply touch the scan button at the bottom. The app may request access to your camera. Simply align the barcode on the microinverter within the frame to scan the UID. Bear in mind the app scans quickly, so if you linger on a barcode, it may scan it again and then tell you the number already exists. You can verify a successful scan by looking in the list for the UID serial numbers. To manually enter a UID number, click on the input UID field just above the bottom options and enter the 12-digit microinverter UID number. Add the new UID to the list. After all the array UIDs appear on the ID management screen, select them using the box to the right of each UID and touch Sync. The app will ask you to confirm replacement. If a UID was missed, simply enter or scan the UID, select its box, and touch Sync to add it to the ECUR. Likewise, if a UID serial number was synced in error, you can select that UID, click Delete, which removes the UID from the ECUR. After all the microinverter UIDs are synced to the ECUR, go to the home screen and verify the number of microinverter units displayed next to the microinverter icon is correct. If you synced 12 inverters, the number 0 over 12 should be displayed here. This means 12 inverters are present, with 0 talking. The inverters will begin communicating once power is supplied by the solar panels. If the correct number of inverters is not displayed, you'll need to return to the ID management screen and verify the UIDs to determine which units are not present and add them. Likewise, if there are more UIDs than there should be, simply find the UIDs which do not belong and remove them using the process we just covered. Once the UIDs are synced and verified, and the DC connections on the array are made, the ECU will begin receiving real-time production data from the inverters. The ECU app displays this information on the data screen, including module-level power production. To verify connection to the microinverters, click on the real-time data option, and you'll see each PV module as well as the last few digits of each microinverter serving those modules. Once all the PV modules and microinverters are connected, the module icon will turn green when AC power is applied and will display a wattage when they are producing power. If any display is gray, the installer should check the UID serial numbers they entered and synced for accuracy before checking cabling connections between the inverter and the AC bus trunk cable and between the inverter and the PV modules. The app also displays the power production curve for each day as well as the overall energy production for the current week, month, and year. Keep in mind that this data is only available on this app while the phone is Wi-Fi connected to this ECU. Home and system owners can view their system data from any internet connected smartphone using the separate EMA app. This is the primary mobile platform for viewing AP Systems inverter production data. However, system owners who do not employ an internet connection at their installation site can still view system production data using this direct Wi-Fi connection and the ECU app.